Well, the police have released a slew of new details, many of them very disturbing, including that this alleged gunman that they have now identified had a hit list as he was going on this shooting spree. And also that before the shooting started, he had mailed nearly two dozen letters to people across the United States, and one of them at least containing an unknown white substance. Officials in Las Vegas investigating whether Wednesday's mass shooting was one of revenge. The alleged gunman, 67-year-old Anthony Polito, a career professor with links to colleges in North Carolina and Georgia. According to multiple reports, he had applied for a job at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas in 2020, but was rejected. Police said Polito was armed with a 9mm handgun, which he had bought legally last year and that he had brought 150 rounds of ammunition with him to the scene. We know he applied numerous times for a job with several Nevada higher education institutions and was denied each time. The suspect had a list of people he was seeking on a university campus, as well as faculty from the Eastern Carolina University. Police identified two of the victims, including 64-year-old business professor Cha John Chang and 39-year-old assistant professor Patricia Navarro Velez, both shot in the head. The third victim's next of kin is still being located. The fourth victim, who survived the attack, has been downgraded to life-threatening condition. Our detectives learned prior to the shooting, the suspect had earlier visited a Henderson post office and sent 22 letters to various university personnel across the country with no return address. The first letter that we opened had a unknown white powder substance in it. A personal blog shows a fascination with unsolved mysteries and conspiracy theories, claiming to have identified the Zodiac killer and theorizing that the disappearance of Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 was a failed radical terrorist hijacking intended to destroy the Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur. Then we received a notification that uh, the shooter or shooters were at the student union, which is where we were. Cesar Marquez was in a meeting with about 70 students when the shooting started. He says they locked the doors, shut off the lights, and hid behind tables. There's some scary times when somebody, you know, tried to open the door and we weren't sure if it was the shooter or if it was the, the police. Um, and then there were some sightings from, from either the SWAT team or the Metro Police uh, giving somebody instructions to either run or get down. I, I wasn't sure. Classes have been canceled for the rest of the week as students and this community grapple with yet another instance of senseless bloodshed in America. According to the Gun Violence Archive, there have now been 632 mass shootings in the United States so far this year. That is roughly two every single day. And there have been dozens that have been taking place on uh, school campuses like the one I am on right now. Of course, in, in the wake of all of these types of mass shootings, we see these calls mount for gun reform, for change. And President Joe Biden is expected to visit Las Vegas on Friday. This is part of a pre-scheduled trip uh, to this city. He is going to address this issue. He has been urging Congress to pass comprehensive gun reform that includes universal background checks and a ban on assault style weapons. Of course, that's not the type of gun that was used in this particular instance, but oftentimes it is the weapon of choice in these types of mass shootings. But of course, you know, there is so much gridlock in Washington right now that for people here in Las Vegas, they don't see anything changing anytime soon.